What's up guys and gals? Welcome to Sword Legacy Omen. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here. As we spend, I guess we're gonna spend our time with some Arthurian tales. When I was a kid, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table was one of my favorite books. I read it like a zillion times. And so, you know, I hear that something Arthurian is coming out and I'm like, yo, let's play it right now. Except for that one MMO that was all about grinding and was super boring. I didn't play that one. That one was not worth my time. Like, yes, it had King Arthur, but at the same time, the entire game just seemed like an excuse to sit there and click trees for 10 hours at a time. So I was like, nah, nah, not this game. But let's jump on into Sword Legacy Omen and see what it's got for us. Many are the chivalrous tales of Arthur, Uther, and Excalibur. Yet such heroic feats hide the secrets of the true legend. Long ago, before Arthur's golden age, I witnessed the tragedy of Desire's corruption. We were then a broken Britannia, void of hope. It took place on that fateful day, while Uther, Knight Commander of Mercia, trained his squire and page. Unheralded, Merlin, the cryptic sorcerer, arrived with urgent matters to discuss. The old man told of a grave vision. A time of chaos and despair was imminent. Yet before he could impart more, a deafening blast shook the citadel. Black-clad soldiers swarmed in with the aid of traitorous nobles and ravaged all in their way. The invaders stormed the throne room and forced Princess Igrain to watch. Her father, Lord Leif, was murdered right before her eyes. When Uther and Merlin arrived, it was too late. Naught but a bloody mess confronted them. The death of his lord seared the knight's soul. But Merlin urged a distraught Uther down the dungeon stairs with but a single ray of hope. Egrain may yet live. And thus, our tale begins. Yo, make sure you loot that crown first, though. That thing's probably worth hella money if we take it to a tavern or something. All I'm saying is we gotta get paid at the beginning of the adventure. It can't be! Lof is dead! His name is Lof from now on. I'm not saying Leof. It's, it sounds like Lof to me, so his name is Lof. It can, and it is. To secure the princess, we must formulate a strategy. Strategy? To hell with that, buddy, Calm. Your pointless meeting brought this doom upon us. I, too, was tricked, Prince Slayer. My vision was unclear. A ruse, perhaps. We were betrayed, Merlin! Whoever it was, I'll gut them all to save your grain. Think, fool! Would she be safe among your mindless bloodbath? More than now as we speak, help me find her and we'll escape this bloody nightmare. Alright, so we're not in combat, we're free to explore, we can investigate the area and do our thing. Oh, okay, so... Oh, I can walk Merlin around too? Oh, uh, what's up, Merlin? I, I I don't think I want Merlin in the front. Hold on, hold on, let's put... Let's take Uther and his grunting self over here. Mm -mm. And then we'll see what's this right here. Let's see, report for duty. Due to bandit activity in the region, the Guard of Mercia is facing a contingent scarcity. All knights must report for reassignment and all recruits for training at once. Our numbers are few, but this is no excuse to ensure the safety of our realm. Burglar is still at large, named the Night Raven. There's a reward of 500 gold pieces. How much you want to bet she's going to end up in our party? I bet you she will. I've played enough RPGs to know where this is going. Let's see. Hailing from Anglia, this new religion believes not in the gods, but in a single all-powerful goddess, Terra the Embracing Mother. The Order of Terra, they call themselves, began as a paltry cult, but has grown significantly in recent years, thanks to the goodwill of Anglia's ruler, Lord Ed. This parchment is filled with prayers for Terra, asking for deliverance, redemption, and the soothing of one's pains. Eh, okay. Apparently I got renowned for that. Huzzah! I am now more renowned, even though I don't know what that entails. We got a campfire kit. Okay, and then we've got bandages. Alright, I'll take them. Sounds good to me. 
Let's go ahead and drag this way and see what we can find out here. Do I want to go like this way? Can I pick that lock? No good. Bloody class won't budge without a key, and I am no lock picker. Well, maybe, like, you should have worked on that before we got here. That looks like a bad guy right there. I'm going to see if I can avoid him. There's nothing inside that cell. What's up with you, Hoss? Sir Uther, thank the gods. Oh, he's a good guy. Never mind. Dwayne, you're still alive. Thank the gods as well. But where's Britta? She left to defend the East Corridor and locked us here, sir. It appears we're trapped in here, Prince Slayer. Again with the wise remarks, Whirlin. Put your damn sorcery to use and get us out of here. Oi, Mr. Knight, looks like you're in deep shit, but I could help if... Hey, you, shut up. Silence, my sweet fanny kid. What the f... <laughs> What's a fanny kid? The world's burning and you need my skills. You can rot in that cell, thief. Dwayne, hand me the spare. There's no spare key, sir. Sweet Tara, praise be your name. What did I say? Enough theatrics, Gwen. A fate far worse than death awakes and your humus quips won't save us. What? Who are you? Do I know you? But as you can aid us, would you kindly open your cell door? Apparently, she's with us now. Oh, we also have Dwayne, too. There, you crazy vagrant. You happy? Merlin, how did you... Never mind. Everybody stay close. I kind of want to have the warriors in the front. It concerns me. Can she pick all the locks? Like, is that just a thing she can flat out do? Let's see. Crumple parchment with a single shady sentence. Thagwok, Teg, Flesroy, Tell. I am now more renowned. Apparently that was a message of me being more renowned. Huzzah. Hey, we got 15 gold pieces. Hell yeah. Everybody love gold. Members of the Order of Terror are branded as outlaws. This note declares that all members of the rebellious Order of Terror are now wanted criminals. According to the document, they are charged with public disorder and treason against the Lord of Anglia. 350 pieces is promised for every dead agitator, 550 for the live ones. Even monks got a price on their heads. What is this, the Dark Ages? That's exactly when it is. It's medieval times. Mm, conspirators in Anglia as well. We gotta go find ourselves a fight. Dwayne looks a little shell-shocked already, and we haven't even been in a fight yet. If I click on this, will she just come up and do it? Oh, I gotta click on her? Okay. I was hoping she would just, like, walk up when I clicked on it and do it. For the will of Wessex, who all will kill all who stand in our... Well, damn it, Wessex. Why you always gotta be messing with Mercia? Wessex, I'll crush you, you murdering cowards. Why is Wessex always gotta be messing with Mercia, man? So it's turn-based, you got action points, you can switch between heroes or do stuff. Strategic positioning, always pay attention to the direction and placement of characters on the battlefield. Okay. Willpower is a hero's morale. Spend it to gain plus two attack, plus two defense, and plus two action points per turn. Willpower points are regained resting and defeating enemies. Characters run out of willpower may panic. With Overwatch, the hero ends their turn. And if an enemy goes inside the cone, they get smacked. There we go. And, like, what if I just want to overwatch, like, diagonally? Can I do that? I don't feel like that's working very well, but I'm still going to try it. That's fine. Uh, Uther. Actually, we'll take Dwayne. And, Dwayne, go over to here. And then you go to right there. I'm setting up traps right now. Setting up traps. Because you know I got him. There we go. Do you have like a magical bolt or something that I can shoot at him? Oh, you can teleport. Okay, you've also got knock. What is that right there? Oh, that's burning willpower. All right, well, let's just see what happens. Yeah, it's fine. This dude's about to get smacked. No! He's better at parrying than I thought he would be. Yeah, how you like me now? Oh, but he didn't come forward far enough to actually... Weak. Alright, step forward. Smack this dude. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Put some blood on him. Put some blood on that soil. And then on this side, he got eight willpower? Really? Ooh. That's not too bad. I mean, she's a little beat up right now, though. Should I use some band-aids on her? Or does that only work for... Man, these Wessex cats out here causing problems. We gotta fix this. 
We gotta be like, hey, yo, Wessex, you don't know us like that. Bra, bra, bra. There's a lot of dead folks in here. I feel like it'd be really stinky. Sire? Britta, oh no! Sire, they took the Lady Igraine. I failed you. My squire, it is I who failed my vows, but there is still hope. No, ugly, they're coming. We won't make it. We're not leaving you behind. Britta, there's no time. Please, we must save Lady Igraine. But very well, sire. I'll be right behind you. I've got a feeling she's not going to be right behind us. I bet you she isn't. Let's see. Loof Delo et Waloff. Hmm. Well, more, more. I think it's like XP is what that's supposed to be, like that renown or whatever it is. It's like the more famous I am, the better I get at fighting. Oh, there's a dead lady over here and a dead guy. I pledge to defend those who cough cannot defend themselves. I pledge to uphold justice and never recoil before my enemy. I pledge to be the champion of valor against all evil. I'm sorry, Sir Uther. It is my oath. Tell Gwen to consider my words. So he just like locked us in a closet with a bunch of dead people? Britta, by the gods, no! No, Britta, this cannot be. Who will we name our water filters after? See, and I bet they gonna break through the door anyways. It's just gonna be pointless. Like she gonna sacrifice herself for nothing. Ooh, we got treasure over here though. Huh. Let me get it. Let me get it. Want the treasure right now? Let me get it. Let's see. We've got a merchant's brooch, and we've got a nightshade extract. Is it nightshade poisonous? Like I know tomatoes are part of the nightshade family, aren't they? I'm pretty sure tomatoes are a nightshade, and people thought they were poisonous a long time ago because I think the leaves and stems of a tomato actually are poisonous but like the tomato part is not or maybe there was some other historical reason why I don't remember but people used to think that tomatoes were poisonous oh hey what's up guy interactive objects they are strategic tools against your enemy you can push or strike them to spread hazards throughout the battlefield I think I was supposed to use it for cover. Like, I was, I was going to hit it because I thought maybe it would roll that way or something. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Oh, yeah. Teleport over there, Merlin. Yeah, buddy. No. Yeah, there you go. Eat stick, son. Eat stick. Dwayne. Go forth and slay. Man, I keep messing up these 81%. I'm going to start feeling some kind of way. She's got 10 AP. Well, at least I can try and stab a guy then. There we go. Put a little put a little shiv up in his guts. Let him feel it. I think Uther's out of everything. Dwayne is the only person that has an AP left, but I don't think I can spend one AP on anything. Oof. Merlin, no! This Arthurian adventure ended a lot earlier than I thought it did. They don't seem to miss very much. And I feel like I miss a lot. No, I wanted to click him again. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Orthogonal three-tile knockback pushes three adjacent Aww. characters. Can I move around, like, behind him and get a better hit chance? Ah. There we go. There's that good stuff. Okay, so backstabs are... Backstabs are important. I'll keep that in mind for later. Wait, did I just hit my own guy with that? What does that do? Keep foes at bay by knocking them back. So they take three damage... 
while objects are destroyed. Oh, so I knocked him back into him. That was smart. Uh, Merlin, finish him off with thine stick. Or, you know, get repeatedly blocked until nothing effective happens. Doesn't really matter. Either way, I think we can live with it. So many bodies. Why did they kill the civilians? Oh my, by the gods. Focus, Lady Egraine needs our help. Everybody take a breath. No need to add to the body count. Sir Uther needs my help. I need to concentrate. It was him. It could only be him. That accursed ingrate tricked me. What accursed ingrate? Mm -hmm. This key was in Egraine's necklace. Why did she drop it and where could she be? Uther, the lady is long gone. Take the key and let us leave this wretched place. Yeah, take that barrel. You got any treasure up inside you? No. What about you? Any treasure over me, y'all? Hmm, that guy got cut in half. That dude had a really bad day. Uh, the Book of Alchemy, an ancient tome about the lost art. This one hasn't been used for quite a while. It's a treatise on the use of mercury as a catalyst for transmuting a tar-like substance into several sources, from synthetic leather to liquor. It's probably inaccurate or inefficient, though. Alchemy and its wonders have all but vanished from Britannia. One might say this is the reason for the shattered state of the kingdom. Wessex, however, keeps the old art alive, albeit in a sinister way. Those damn Wessexians! Uh, whispers of dark magic and gruesome experiments performed on the living are but a few of the rumors. Those dirty Wessexians. They're always coming up with ways to convert and pervert magic. Every single time they got an opportunity, they go make some dick magic. Mother Terra, a dead end? Lord Loth once spoke of a secret tunnel here. Conveniently hidden among the best wines, huh? Somehow they knew of it. Look at that blood trail. Must be some kind of lever. I don't really care about that. All Splatty care about is treasure. He care about getting paid. Oh, look. It's the old secret door behind the sconce thing. That'll do me. I'm out of the cell. Is this it? Where are we headed? How could I be fooled by a vision? Could this be his doing? Egrain, my love, forgive me. My liege, my squire, my home, farewell. Alas. Ba 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 ba. We've actually made it to the edge of the map. So, apparently we can proceed. We got 64, 10 renown. I feel like we did a pretty good job. I don't think there's any reason to replay the last level. Uther and his cohort fled Mercia like rats, grimly realizing everything dear to them was lost, including Princess Egrain. More than ever, theirs was a broken Britannia, in need of a symbol to inspire change, in need of an omen. It's the name of the game. In case you didn't catch that little part. No sign of those Wessex bastards, but keep an eye out. We need to leave Mercia at once. See, this is exactly what I heard about England, is that, like, the Midlanders don't like the Northerners or the Southerners, and the Southerners and the Northerners don't like the Midlanders. It's been for, like, a thousand years, hasn't it, English people? Hasn't it? It's been, like, a thousand years. Damn Wessex. Dwayne, take heed. <laughs> was Lady Egraine in the throne room with Lord Loft? I'm not sure, sire. I was so scared, and, well, it was, uh, speak some bloody sense, boy. I need answers, not mindless prattle. Hey, no need to be an asshole and shout at a damn kid. Save your pity, thief. Hey, listen here, you little... Shut your mouth. You speak only when spoken to, thief. Enough, Uther. She's right. Learn to steer your anger. It's a powerful feeling. You're not my lord, Merlin. In fact, he's dead because you summoned me and I wasn't there for him. Blaming me. Dwayne, where does that get you? You might enjoy playing the rabid dog, but I'd rather hear what the page has to say. Also, Merlin has that dope head tattoo right there. You know he and a biker gang. Britta and I overheard some soldiers in the dungeon, but they spoke in a strange way. They seemed to be repeating orders, but they mentioned a name over and over. Gorla or something. Gorla? That son of a... Shut up, you ruckus lout. Any louder in the citadel or hear us. Fine, let's move. We'll continue at camp. Apparently, we are in broken Britannia. Forsaken Hibernia. Man, they're using all the old names over here. You got, like, Mercia, Wessex. Kent is still Kent, but, like, Northumbria. Is Northumbria still Northumbria? I don't know geography of England. I'm from the United States, and they basically make you memorize all the states, and then they cut you loose, and you graduate. That's pretty much it. 
Public education is a nightmare here. There's a camping spot. Do I want to camp right there? Or do I have to do this spot? Tamworth Citadel. Masia. Can I travel? There we go. Perfect. I clicked on it before, but it didn't work. I'm just saying. I'm not an idiot. I clicked on the button before and nothing happened. And I was like, why is nothing happening? Hold on. You're swinging too high, boy. Oh, uh, Sir Uther, sorry, I was just practicing. Still, never forget your stance. Errors that become habits are the hardest to correct, much as a damaged blade without fire. I'm just a page. Britta was the squire, and I'm the damaged blade. Dwayne, I apologize. I was too harsh earlier, and I treated you unfairly. The pain, the fear, they make us lose our ground. It's all right, sire. After all that happened, I'm glad we survived. But Britta, she was very special, Dwayne, one of the bravest warriors that I've ever met. She gave her life for her oath. They killed our lord and took our lady. And I miss Britta so much. I know I should be fearless as you are. I'm not fearless, boy. I've never felt so much dread in my life, and I miss her too. I loved her as my own kin. Like her namesake, she was fierce and strong. I'll always be proud of her. She had a lot of Empress Britannia in her, didn't she? We used to read stories of the Warrior Queen together. About the Warrior Queen uniting the land against the Normans, of reigning with wisdom and decisiveness. Oh, this is after the Norman Conquest. This is way later than I thought it was. Uh, loving someone, missing them, it gives you a reason to fight for them. Oh, that's true. Ivanhoe was around the same time. It was set, like, in the same time period-ish of Arthur. And the entire point of Ivanhoe was the Normans and the Saxons just fighting and butchering each other. It's in their name that we must carry on, Egraine. Lady Egraine needs us. For Lady Egraine, then. And for Brittata. You have my word, my squire. No harm will befall you. I failed my lord, and I failed Brit, and I will not wait. Wait, what is it, sire? Someone's coming. Warn the others. Oh, no. I have skills available. There's enough renown to unlock a skill. Hold on, how do I unlock a skill? Oh, it's in their character sheets. I didn't know how to open the character sheet, though. I was like, uh, I think you can double click them, though. And I got it to work. So we can get new skills over here if we really want to. We can get Pierce. I'm going to upgrade Uther because Uther's a gangster. Uther don't care. Oh, uh, we've got Shield Stun. So this won't exactly hurt foes, but they might be stunned. So defense-based attack after bonus movement, no damage, stun chance. So it takes two AP, and I can move two to six tiles. I don't know if I want that. Do I have to buy these in order? We've got Arc Slash. That might be helpful. Yeah, let's get Arc Slash. Anything that gives us a little bit of... Oh, we've also got passives, though. Damn, I didn't notice the passives. Okay. So passives are usually pretty good, and I kind of want passives. How much does a passive cost? Oh, yeah. Can you get, like, a fireball or anything? See, I should have... He's kind of useless right now. He would have been the smartest upgrade. Everybody else has a function already except for Merlin. It's okay. We'll upgrade him next. But he needs some kind of, like, range support skill or something so that, like, he can sit in the back with the gear and do his thing. Oh, we're being attacked by wolvens. Okay. Were there wolves in England? Were those a thing? English people, have you ever feared for your safety due to wolves? I mean, we don't have wolves where I live. We have pumas. And we have mountain lions. But we don't, we, we don't have, we have pumas, mountain lions, they're the same thing, by the way. And we also have coyotes, and like rattlesnakes. Mm. But there's definitely, absolutely no wolves here. You gotta go down to like New Mexico, Arizona for the timber wolves. Well, hopefully these things don't hurt, because my HP didn't get restored in between this and the last battle. I think that's what the camping supplies are for. If you're ever surrounded, you should always pick a direction and push. In case you didn't know that. Oh, they like to focus fire. That's dirty. Smarter AI than I thought it would have. I mean, it's not that smart. They're just focusing on whoever has the lowest HP value. But still moderately obnoxious. I probably should have just swung from where I was, but oh well. That was probably stupid of me, but it felt cool. It felt cool and I wanted to do it.
Might have a serious problem right now. Huh. Doesn't look like you get any attack bonus from the side, though. Like, you have to be physically behind the enemy in order for any of it to work. What does that do? Dash. Special movement lets you go through foes and traps. It's 2 AP. So I could have teleported through him like that right there. And then hit him from behind if I wanted to. That would have been cool. I'm pretty sure we're about to lose, though. I wasn't expecting them to just, like, folk. Oh my god, they do so much damage. They also have so much AP. Like, they can move so far and still attack. Like, the battlefield is so small. Like, the battlefield is freaking tiny. Like, you can easily walk across the entire battlefield and still get, like, a swing off. Uh, you better pray that counts as a rear strike. I don't know. Like, I feel like that isn't really worth... Well, I mean, it allows you to have the... Pres but doesn't it take 2 AP for me to just walk around anyways? Like, if I had just walked around him, it would have taken me 2 AP, right? So... I don't know. Better hope we get lucky right here. Doesn't he have a thing that hits everything in front of him? Three tile knockback pushes up to adjacent. Does it do damage, though? Knocks him back by three. I don't think that's going to be that helpful. And now's when we lose our boy, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. He blocked the first one. Maybe he'll block the second one? Nope. No such luck. The coin flip did not go in our favor. Damn. This game is all about backstabs. You gotta be playing this thing like backstabs in like D&D &D 3.5 edition. You gotta be playing backstabs all day long. Apparently there's a synthetic leather, leather waistcoat. Did that exist back then? Like a pleather waistcoat? I don't know, but either way, this is Sword Legacy Omen. If you guys enjoyed what you saw so far, you can get the game down below in the description. You have to waitlist it for right now because it's not out yet. But aside from that... This is definitely a game that takes some adjustment. You can die really, really fast, and I didn't because the first fights were so easy. I didn't realize they didn't put enough damage on me for me to realize how quickly you could just get, like, two-shotted. I learned a new thing today. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Hi, do, and take care out there, everybody, and don't forget, keep on backstabbing.